Y'all ready? Um, I uh, want to start by thanking uh, Senator Cardin for being such an outstanding ranking member of the Foreign Relations Committee and partner in an effort which has yielded a 98 to 1 vote on a bill that uh, I think all of you know has been controversial from day one. Uh, it's the first time in the eight years and four or five months that I've served in the Senate that I can remember um, Congress, uh, Congress asserting itself and taking power back that had already been granted uh, to a president, um, but not done in a way to create acrimony, but to make sure that Congress, on behalf of the American people, played an appropriate role, that we had the opportunity to, to see every detail of a, what may be one of the most important geopolitical um, agreements that may take place. Obviously, something may not occur. And I think all of us, by the way, want to see a very strong and durable agreement that will ensure that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon. But this bill ensures that we have that opportunity, that it lays before Congress for a meaningful period of time and allow us to, to go through those details and also to, to weigh in, uh, either with a resolution of approval or disapproval or do nothing if Congress decides that that's the right approach. And then in addition to that, to certify, for the President to have to certify to Congress every 90 days that Iran is in compliance again if we reach an agreement. Um, this, uh, again, Senator Cardin um, stepped in under very difficult circumstances and immediately hit the ground running. And I, I could not work with someone who I respect more uh, nor appreciate more than, than Senator Cardin. His staff has been outstanding, um, as as ours. I want to just go back for a second, and then I'll turn the mic over, and I know there'll be questions. But this began uh, July last year. And it began as a bill that uh, myself, Senator McCain, Senator Graham, Senator Risch, Senator Rubio introduced, knowing that while many people were pushing for additional sanctions to force an end deal, we knew that if an end deal uh, was agreed to, there really was no role for Congress to play, since, as you know, Congress had waived its abilities uh, through giving the uh, President national security waivers. So it began there. Uh, we evolved through, and, and uh, Senator Menendez, who I, I, the only thing disappointing to me about today is that Senator Menendez is not receiving the credit that he deserves uh, uh, for being so responsible for being where we are today. He was an outstanding partner. He was the first Democrat to actually begin to sign on, and then Tim Kaine. Uh, who, by the way, is just an outstanding senator from Virginia. Someone, uh, as a governor, came in knowing so much about foreign policy. He's a remarkable senator. Uh, but Senator Kane came on, and so it really began uh, at that point with uh, Senator Menendez and myself, Senator Graham and Senator Kane, And then we were able to build out from there. And uh, we created a very strong bipartisan coalition uh, Senator Cardin's uh, involvement, uh, his leadership, his tenacity, uh, the fact that he has such a strong not only foreign policy background but legal background caused us to move into place to pass out a committee on a 19-0 vote, a bill that, as you know, uh, and I know he has a little different sensibilities here, but as you know, had a veto threat on it uh, two hours before we came to committee. Veto threat. Uh, it was threatened to me uh, uh, just uh, a week before directly uh, from the White House, and yet, uh, again, by working together, we were able to overcome that. And I know that Senator Cardin was able to negotiate into the agreement various sensibilities that, that made that lesser of an issue. But uh, I think this is a big achievement for uh, the United States Senate. Hopefully the House will take it up soon. I think this is a, a big achievement for the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to work together in the way that we have. And I know that Senator Card and I have talked about the fact that this is uh, the base uh, to do other things. We have other important business that needs to be taken care of. I apologize for speaking as long as I have, uh, but I, uh, 
I tell you truly, and I had a moment, uh, a private conversation uh, with Senator Cardin earlier today. Um, I deeply appreciate uh, him being the way he is. Well, thank